Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there. Welcome back to another Drop List video, the series where we cover all the items that are releasing in a specific week for various different streetwear brands. And in today's video, I'm going to be covering everything dropping in week four of Palace's Spring 2021 collection. First off though, I'd just like to say, sorry, the video is a little bit late, guys. I, uh, <laughs> I've had quite a busy day. I had to help haul uh, five tons of wood ready for the winter, and then I had to go to work. So I had no time to do the drop list video before work today. So I'm now doing it right after my shift. <laughs> still, still in the work uh, gear at the moment. So yeah, sorry for that. But now we're finally here. Let's get into it. Let's start covering week four of Alice's Spring 2021 collection. How we're going to do that is simply by using the Hypebeast article that is posted for it. Uh, I've got all the items that are releasing this week written down on a little notebook, so we'll cover them individually. I'll give you my thoughts and opinions on each piece and then the week as a whole. And of course, we'll cover everything to do with the drop times, everything like that. So let's head on over to that Hypebeast article now and start covering week four. Now here is the article guys, I don't think we'll cover all the release details, uh, well sorry, all of the, you know, article here where it talks about what's actually in it, because we're going to cover those 74 images anyway. So I think we should just cover the release details for the article. Uh, look for the 4th Spring 2021 drop to hit Palace's website on March 5th at 11am GMT UK time. 12 p.m. CET time for Europe, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for the US, and on March 6th, so the Saturday, for at 11 a.m. Japanese Standard Time or Chinese Standard Time for Japan and China. Palace's flagship stores will also host drop-in person exclusively in America, Japan, and China. Not in the UK, because I think you guys are still going through a big lockdown, so... Hopefully you guys can get out of that soon. But that is it. That is all the release details for the drop. It's happening this Friday, March 5th, or depending on your region, potentially on the Saturday. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be going for anything this week, but maybe there might be something that sways me when we cover it individually. Let's jump right in, though, and start covering this first piece that's going to be releasing this week, which is the Sugar Coach Jacket. Yes, kicking it off, we have the Sugar Coach Jacket. This piece was showcased in the lookbook and I was very excited for it. As it's not an official collaboration with Gatorade, it's simply just Palace making mockery of their iconic logo. Uh, this piece will come in a variety of different colours. We get it in the black. Uh, now, just to mention quite quickly, from what I can see with this piece, the inner lining of this coach's jacket is not the same as the exterior material. Uh, I haven't bought a coach's jacket in years, but the last coach's jacket that I bought, I've got to say, was pretty low quality. It was simply the external material continued on in the internal area, but it looks like Palace has put a cotton interior just to make it a little bit warmer and just to give you a different texture when you're wearing it, so it's going to feel more like a hoodie or sweater on the inside and on the outside it's going to feel like your traditional coach's jacket. I just thought that was a little detail that we you know should mention in the series and I thought that was quite interesting that Palace went to those lengths to do that. Anyway we'll keep pushing on. So it comes in a black. Um, on the back of the piece we get the uh, same logo just repeated on the back there. Palace Garment Quencher. <laughs> Next we get it in uh, I'm just going to simply put it as a green is probably the best way to put it. And we get it in a navy and a white. Uh, personally, I think my favorite colors is either going to be the white or the black with it then going to the navy and then the green. But it's a really solid piece, an awesome coach's jacket, and that graphic is just so loud in your face. And if you're, I guess, cultured, <laughs> you know what this is making reference to. So I'm sure there'll be a couple of people out there to be like, hey, he's wearing Gatorade merch, but actually he's not. <laughs> cool piece, uh, an awesome way to start off week four. Next, at item two, we are getting a piece that I honestly thought was going to release last week because the beanie released last week. Uh, what we have is the Lightning Speed Hoodie. Uh, this comes in, in a couple colors. Uh, it comes in a brown, comes in a blue, or more specifically a navy, comes in a white, comes in a gray, comes in a black, and last but not least, 
comes in that orange as well, just like the beanies did. Uh, it's a little bit too wild for me in the orange. The black isn't too bad. The navy isn't too bad. It's just not speaking to me a lot. It's kind of just like a, it's a solid piece, but not something that I like definitely need to pick up. But I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on it though, guys. How do you feel about the Lightning Speed hoodie? This is the second item dropping this week. Uh, let's dive into item three and see what else is releasing in week four. Item number three, we have the Tuni shirt. Uh, what I think is quite interesting about this shirt is each color is different um, when it comes to the graphic animal that is above the pocket. Uh, normally Palace just switches up the color, but this one is a little bit more special. You get a different animal for the different colors. So uh, it looks like it's a corduroy material. Just looking at the grain of the material from this image, it looks like it's corduroy. Uh, for the green, you get a little turtle. Moving on to the next color, which is the purple. You get a dinosaur, probably more specific, a T-Rex with a Palace P covering its head. The turtle has a palace P for its head, but it kind of works with the actual, you know, animal. While the T-Rex one, I don't know, it feels off to me. <laughs> just looks a little bit odd. It just looks like a P slapped on the top of a Tyrannosaurus Rex's body. I don't know, it just doesn't work for me. But there are other colors as well. There is the, I'm gonna say it's a pigeon. I think this one's sick. This is probably my favorite one out of all the Toonie shirts. And then last but not least, we also have the giraffe. Same scenario as the T-Rex though, I feel like it's just oddly placed. I think the animals that work the best are the pigeon and the uh, turtle. You may disagree with me there, but I would love to know how you feel about it down in that comment section below. But I would definitely say the pigeon is my favorite one releasing that this week. That is item three though guys, let's move on to item four. Okay, next we get our first long sleeve this week, uh, long sleeve t-shirt at least. We get the Palazzo. Palace long sleeve. This one comes in some very neutral colors, nothing too crazy, nothing too wild. But I think if that's your type of style and you like this graphic, I think it's really going to hit off with you. The three colors that it comes in is the black, the gray, and simply the white. Or at least that's all the colors that the Hype Beast article has uh, showcased to me. <laughs> and maybe there's surprise colors that are showcased in the Palace range that I haven't seen, but this is what the Hype Beast article says is releasing. Uh, it's these three colors here. I would say probably the white's my favorite. I like how the graphic really stands out once it's given a black border and just black detailing. But maybe you'll disagree and like the other colors. Anyway, that is item number four. Let's go have a look at item number five. We've got a, whew, we've got a little collab here going on. <laughs> I mean, I don't really have to explain it too much further. You can kind of see who Palace is collaborating with. They are collabora uh, collaborating with Adidas, obviously, or Adidas, whatever you want to call them, the three stripes, we all know who we're talking about here. Uh, yes, we are getting both a t-shirt and a pair of sneakers as well, but we'll start talking about this t-shirt first. So we have the Adidas Palace Stan Smith t-shirt. Now, I don't see any resemblance to Stan Smith per se on the t-shirt. All I see is the three stripes, Adidas logo, Palace P, co-branding on the tag. It comes in a couple colors though. It comes in this blue. Uh, on the back of it, it has the Triferg, which looks like it is, uh, I don't, 3D printed isn't the right word, but it's printed and has a texture to it. I think, just by looking at it, it looks like it has a texture, but I could totally be wrong. It could just be a stock standard print. I honestly wouldn't be able to tell you. Next, we have it in like a cream and pink kind of color. Uh, green and white. We have it in a sand and blue. And last but not least, we have it in a, I don't even know what the hell this is. <laughs> Maybe this is sand? Sand and dirt? I don't know. It's basically the Yeezy color palette, to be honest. It's most of Kanye's uh, 350v2s just splashed into a palace tee right here. <laughs> I mean, I think I'm right in saying that. That is the tea releasing this week though, guys. Uh, let's see what else is releasing this week. Item number six, we have a t-shirt version of the uh, coach's jacket that we saw right at the start. We have the uh, sugar t-shirt. 
So it's the same graphic, instead of it being small on the left breast like the coach's jacket, it's now been made quite big on the chest. It comes in a variety of different colors, but it also comes with a huge watermelon triangle slice on the back. I actually felt this was a bit too excessive. I kind of thought, you know what, we should have kept it nice and simple, just this front logo, nothing going on in the back. I don't know, I felt like this was a bit too much. Maybe if they removed like the watermelon co-branding down there and maybe the straw and just had the slice and that logo maybe, but I don't know, I just felt like it was a bit too much having a back graphic as well. As I said, it does come in other colors as well. It comes in a brown, it comes in a green, it comes in a gray, a navy, a white, and I guess a sand color as well. Our favorite's probably going to go to the white, just because I think the red will pop really nicely on the front of it. But uh, yeah, I feel like they went a little bit too ham on this one. They should have pulled it back a little bit and calmed down a little. But that's it. Uh, we'll keep pushing on and see what else is releasing this week. Oof, too many Trifergs this season already. <laughs> We're in week four and it's just Trifer Triferg every goddamn week. We need a chill palace. Chill. Releasing a bunch of Trifergs isn't going to bring back people that have left the brand. I tell you what, that's not the reason why people left the brand. <laughs> anyway, so yes, uh, at item seven we have the If You Build It t-shirt. Uh, this comes in a couple colorways. It comes in a black, a green, a gray, navy, pink, and a white. I honestly think the graphic looks the best on the white. I think the color combinations seen on the other colors are just a little bit too wild, a little bit too crazy for me. Uh, but yeah, too many Trifergs this season already. We're only in week four. Let's press on though and have a look at item number eight. We have next is the in Infinity t-shirt. Uh, it comes in a couple colors. It's a playful little graphic. Uh, it comes in a black. The graphic is then made bigger on the back of it. Uh, it comes in a gray, comes in a navy, comes in a white, comes in the sand, and comes in the brown again. I honestly gotta say, the color combinations, I'm more interested in the navy because at least it'll have the white graphic on the back. I was almost gonna go the white tee, but then it has the pink one. And yeah, I'm just not really feeling the pink one. So the navy one's probably my favorite out of that. But let's press on and have a look at item number nine releasing this week. Item number nine, we have the P Cycle Beanie. It has the Palace logo, uh, also hinting at the recycling logo uh, as well. We have the uh, beanie coming in a couple colors. We have it coming in a black, a, I'm gonna say Sam? Uh, orange and uh, a navy and like a greeny blue yeah some interesting color options here uh, for me I think I'm just gonna stick with the old black <laughs> I think the colors just get a little bit too wild I'm just like yeah I don't know if I'd wear these type of beanies man I think let's let's just keep it natural keep it uh, keep it to that original color and just keep it to the black beanie there but that is item number nine the P cycle beanie now next we have a matching cap to a t-shirt, oh sorry, a button up that we saw before. What we have here is the Toonie 6 panel. Uh, it comes in a variety of different colors with all the different palace creatures that we saw on it before. So it comes in the black with the purple T-Rex. Uh, we get that showcased to us a little bit in some different colors there. We get the giraffe in the sand. We get the pigeon. I love the pigeon. The pigeon's my favorite. That is, it's just so dumb. I love it. <laughs> I want that, but huge and embroidered on like the chest of a piece, on like a white hoodie or on the back of a piece. It's just so dumb. I love it. It's just the, <laughs> it's just the best. Uh, it does come in a couple other colors as well. It comes in the green for the turtle. Uh, and I think then we just, yeah, then we just get the turtle getting showcased to us. Damn, they should have given more spotlight to the pigeon, am I right? My god. But yes, that is item number 10, guys. We only have four more items to cover that are releasing in week four. So let's go check out item number 11. This one, I don't know. It's basic, versatile, all you really need. What we have is uh, the zip back shell E leaf cap uh it comes in two colors comes in the black and get ready for the second color just a wild looking 
plaid tartan looking color. Yeah, that's it. That's all we get. <laughs> you get a black or you get this. That's that's all your only color options. Sorry. Yeah, um, it's all right. Nothing too crazy. I could definitely sleep on this. Uh, nothing too wild here for item number 11. Item 12, we have a graphic reappearing, but this time in the form of an accessory. We have the Palazzo um, mug. <laughs> Just That's the only color. This is the only one. Are you going to pick up the mug this week, guys? Let me know down in that comment section below. Is it a yes? Is it a no? But that is item number 12, the Palazzo mug. Uh, we've only got two more items to cover. So let's jump in and see what item number 13 is. Well, I mean, it was going to come up eventually. It was either going to be the last item or the second last item. So we do have one more item after this. Uh, and technically, it does come in two colorways. So you could count it as 15 items in total this week. But it really is just the same item in a different colorway. So I don't know. It depends on your personal thoughts and opinions. But for item number 13, potentially slash 14, depending on how you see it, is the Adidas Palace Stan Smiths. Uh, these were a tease to release right at the start of the season, but they got pushed back to week four. Uh, one of the colorways it comes in is this very pastel colored one with uh, pink side panels, uh, banana cream uh, sock liner, uh, very light blue tongue, and a continuation of that yellow onto the toe box there. It's, and obviously a palace dented P where the normal stripes would be. It's, uh, it's a very weird color palette. I don't know why they chose this one, but there is another colorway. I uh, will just have a look at that now. It's a more of a classic one. So the classic white and green with a touch of pink. They had to spice it up and add a touch of pink. But also you may notice that the colors m are mismatched on each of the pairs. So as you can see, it has a silver tongue. What, uh, the right shoe has a pink sock liner, while the left shoe has a green sock liner. And then the heel tab has been changed. You have the Palace Triferg logo on the green and the Stan Smith logo on the pink. I kind of like that. This one's a lot more versatile, a lot easier to wear, so I'd be more interested in this pair than I would the pastel pair. But maybe your color palette is the pastel palette, you know, the golf Le, uh, Le Fleur look. So maybe the Palace pieces are for you. But yeah, a very interesting Stan Smith collaboration that we're getting this season, guys. Uh, that's the back of the pastel color there. Just uh, very odd, very odd Stan Smiths. Definitely let me know down in that comment section below though if you guys are interested in picking them up. But drum roll please, let's go have a look at the last item, item 14, that is releasing in week 4. Technically you could call it item 15 if you count the two colorways of the Stan Smiths as two different items. But anyway, we're not getting, getting into that technicality. <laughs> last but not least, of course, we have the Sugar Gym Towel. So on top of the coach's jacket, the t-shirt, we are also getting an accessory with the Gatorade inspired logo there, which is the gym towel. Uh, look, I think this is probably my least favorite item that is releasing from with the sugar graphic on it. I think my favorite is the coach's jacket, but maybe you disagree. Maybe you're like, nah, the towel is definitely the way to go. <laughs> Let me know in that comment section below if you feel that way. But that is everything. That is everything releasing in week four, which is releasing uh, March 5th uh, or 6th, depending on your region. Uh, let me know down in that comment section below if you guys are interested in picking anything up this week and what your thoughts and opinions are on week four in general. But that's it, guys. We have covered everything. We covered the release details, all the official images, and my thoughts and opinions on week four. All the items are releasing that we've covered there. Uh, look, week four is all right. The standout pieces for me are the sugar items. I think, you know, the Gatorade inspired stuff. The rest of it is kind of a miss for me. Nothing here that's really like exciting me too much. The Adidas stuff was kind of cool, but none of it really hits my color palette. I'm not a huge pastel guy. And I mean, those Stan Smiths are not going to come in a size 16 or 17. So I don't even have to worry about thinking about picking them up. But yeah, pretty solid week. Pretty solid week. A lot of Triferg stuff this season, as I expressed. Uh, sorry if I also did sound a little bit flat while recording this video, guys. It's the hauling the five ton of wood, going to work, and now recording this video that has just like killed me. <laughs> but I'll definitely try and stay up late to get this video out for you guys. But let me know how you feel about week four's drop list down in that comment section below. 
Of course, if you guys want me to keep covering upcoming Palace weeks, upcoming Palace collaborations, and upcoming Palace drops in general, don't forget to leave a big old like on this video, comment in the comment section down below, and the best indicator you can give me is a subscribe to the channel. We're also trying to hit our new subscriber milestone this uh, month, guys. For March, we're trying to hit 2,865 subscribers. We're literally like two subs off. So tell your mates, tell your family, and hopefully we can reach that subscriber milestone before the end of March. But that's everything I have to say about week four of Palace's Spring 2021 collection, guys. I'm going to try and get this video out for you guys so you have the latest news before Friday. So until the next Streetwear Talk video, until the next Droplist video, until the next Palace video in general, guys, I'll catch you later.